हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज लवली चना दोस रेसिपी नाउ हियर हैव टेकन अबाउट वन एंड हाफ कप ऑफ चना दाल आई वॉश्ड इट थ्राइस वेल अंडर रनिंग वॉटर एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू सोक इट इन अबाउट थ्री कप्स ऑफ वॉटर फॉर एटलीस्ट फाइव टू सिक्स आवर्स now in the meantime you can make some elaichi or cardamom powder i've just taken four elaichis peel them and just made them into a powder in my mortar and pestle this comes to about 1 teaspoon of elaichi powder now i'm going to transfer the soaked dal along with the water that we had soaked it in into a pressure pan i'm going to add a pinch of salt stir it in well and then we're going to pressure cook this for one whistle on high and simmer for 10 minutes once the pressure pan is completely cooled you'll see that the dal is nice and cooked so we'll just smash it down to uh, you know so that it's easier for us to grind it to a smooth paste now since we had soaked the dal it cooks really very fast now i'm going to transfer this mashed dal to a mixer and i'm going to blend it to a very smooth paste this is the consistency of the paste we are looking for now i'm also going to grind 3 cups of freshly grated coconut in the mixer no water has to be added this is how the ground coconut will look now i'm going to grease a baking tray or you can use a regular tray uh, with some ghee and you can keep this aside now i'm going to add the cooked dal to a heavy bottomed pan i'm also going to add the ground grated coconut i'm going to mix both of them really well together now i'm i'm cooking this on a low flame i'm also going to add 2 cups of sugar and start stirring everything on a low to medium flame i'm also going to add the elaichi powder or the cardamom powder and mix it in well now i'm just going to do a taste test just to see if the sugar is right or you know if i need to add more sugar now i th i felt i needed to add a little bit of salt so i just added a little salt to taste and now we just have to uh, stir this on a low to medium flame now after some time about 3 or 4 minutes you'll find that the mixture thickens and also it darkens in color so just keep stirring this so i timed myself in the entire process till it you know actually uh, was ready it took me about 15 minutes i'm also using a long uh, a wooden spoon with a long handle because it does tend to splutter a bit scrape off the sides also and keep stirring now you will find after some time that the mixture becomes very difficult to stir it becomes really stiff but when you stir it you see that it leaves the sides of the pan as well as the base of the pan very easily so we are almost there now i'm just going to add about a tablespoon of ghee to this and this makes the mixture really nice and smooth and you know you're able to uh, stir everything together plus it adds a lovely flavor also so now you can turn off the gas flame and just with the residue heat just keep stirring it for about another half a minute or so now we're going to transfer this mixture onto the grease tray you can even use a plate also a steel plate and now we're going to add a few drops of ghee about say half a teaspoon or a teaspoon and just flatten it out now using a spatula and just uh you know bring it to the thickness of the tray it should be about half an inch of thickness and then just smoothen the top of it with a spatula like this the mixture is extremely hot so be careful and i'm just going to take a knife and just make this design just on the surface of the dose now generally it does have this design if you see the dose it has some diagonal lines fine lines on it don't go all through to the base just on the top it's just a kind of a design and now we are going to uh, you know keep this covered with a dry kitchen cloth i'm going to cover and keep this overnight or for at least 10 hours to set that's very important that you set this for at least 10 hours 
so after 10 hours you'll see that the dose is all set and you'll find the top of it has hardened and set it's not soft anymore and then just cut it into the uh, you know the traditional diamond uh, shape that the dose normally has and it will look like this So our chana dose is all ready to enjoy. You'll see that the top of it has hardened whereas well the center and the base is still soft and smooth. That's how the consistency should be. Now you can uh, store this uh, in an airtight container and uh, you know uh, for a day or two and then refrigerate it after that preferably. And whenever you want to serve it just thaw it for about 15 minutes or just keep it out at room temperature for 15 minutes. Friends, I hope you liked today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that. That way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same. So on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.